Welcome everybody to 2023. Happy New Year and all of those good New Year, New Me things. We are going to have a fantastic year, lots of fun stuff happening. So I wanted to go over the top, at least in my opinion, tricks or hacks in Lightroom to speed up your editing and make your photos that much better. So without further ado, let's get into the video like we're getting into the year. Will Simpson here, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year, and as they say, New Year, new me. So today we're going to be going over the top Lightroom hacks of 2022. Let's get into it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> don't worry guys, I haven't gone anywhere. That was Brianna, that was my full-time second shooter and assistant now because expansion has been crazy, but we're gonna just get into the video now. <laughs> All right, so we are in Lightroom now after that crazy intro, and we're going to start with the first hack, which is setting your absolute perfect white and black point. So we're gonna take this photo here, and we're going to simply adjust the highlights down, raise the shadows, and how do you set the white and black point? So the first thing you're gonna do is push and hold Alt or Option, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC. You're gonna click the white slider while holding that and slide it up until you see white, just like that then back it down, there is your perfect white point. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the black point, slide it down until you see blacks, and there you go. And that is how to set your optimum white and black point. Okay, the next one is a personal favorite of mine, and that is a easy way to use the masking features to dodge and burn your image. The dodge the whites, lighten the whites, and burn the darks, or darken the darks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click up here in the mask section, you're going to go to range, you're gonna click luminance, then you're gonna see this slider up here. On the left is the darks, on the right is the whites. So you're gonna click this slider here, not this one. You're gonna click this little one and you're gonna slide it all the way and you'll notice that the mask starts to disappear in the dark areas of the image. All the way until you get that range that you want. Now let's say we wanna do just the white and a little bit of the highlights, so right there. Then this here is your feather. Now you can do this as much or as little as you want. I try and find an even balance because we don't really want to brighten the midtones necessarily. So we're gonna settle on right there. Then we're going to raise the exposure just a smidge and that's going to dodge or brighten our whites. Then we're gonna create a new mask, come down to luminance range and we're gonna do the same thing the opposite way. So click this little slider, slide it over to the blacks and the darks or the shadows and then adjust the feather, so right about there, and then we're going to lower the exposure to burn them. And that's going to give us some really nice, even dodging and burning on our entire image. This is a good way to finish your image. Not necessarily to start your image, but because I just wanted to show you the technique, we're doing it early. This is a good way to edit your whole image and then to add that little extra pop, that little extra contrast, add these two adjustments, and it'll just make them stand out that much better. So here's the before, and here is the after. It's not much, it's very subtle, but trust me, makes a difference. Okay, the next technique is a culling technique, or an organization method. Now when you go through your images, you always wanna pick your selects, or the main images that you're gonna to wanna to edit. Because you take a ton of photos, you're not gonna edit all of them, not necessarily, but you want to pick the ones that are amazing. So. Normally, you could just press one on the keyboard to star them, right? One, two, three, you give them a star number. Then you press the arrow or click the next image, press one, and then you move on. Now there is a technique to speed this up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on what's called auto advance. Now rather than going through all the menus and turning it on and off, just simply press and turn on caps lock. Caps lock is turned on. So press one, you'll notice that it goes to the next image. Press one again, it goes to the next image. Let's say you didn't like this photo, press zero. You give it no star, but you move on to the next one. Then press a three, good. So now you are auto advancing. Now if you wanna turn it off, just simply turn off caps lock, and if you press one again, notice how it stays on the image. So that is a quick way to call through all your images and pick your selects. All right, the next one is the way to really get clean masks. So let's take this image here, since we're on it, we're gonna lower the highlights, we're gonna raise the shadows, we're gonna set our white and blacks points really fast and then we have a base edit. See, before, after. Good, now let's go into the masking technique. Let's press our masking feature. Let's press select subject, and it'll select our subject. But notice that it selected this section right here. So let's zoom in by pressing command and the plus sign, using the space bar to navigate over here, and we wanna get rid of that. 
So let's click the mask, press subtract and a brush, and then we're just gonna simply brush away this section. Just really quickly here, and I'm pressing option, hold, pressing and holding option to get a plus sign to add that part back. I'm gonna subtract this section here. Actually, I think that's part of her leg, even though it's part of the branch, so there, good. Then we have our selection. Now, if we wanted to select the background, we could create new mask and select background, but we're missing that section. So this trick, delete the background, we're simply going to select the subject mask, press the three dots in the top, and duplicate and invert. That's going to duplicate the current mask and then invert all of our adjustments. So we get an exact opposite of the mask that we just created. That is the quickest way to select the subject and then get an identical reverse or inverted mask based on your current selection. So you don't have to do all of those adds and subtracts again. It's just quicker and easier and more accurate. Okay, the next one is you'll notice that I was using command or control on a PC and then the plus sign to zoom in and out. There is a faster way to do this. If you're on your image, all you have to do is press and hold the command button or the control button, I believe, on a PC. You'll notice that you get a square with a plus sign. Simply draw a square over the part you want to zoom in and it'll zoom right in that area. Then you can press the space bar once you release the command button and it'll zoom out. If you press the space bar again, it'll zoom right back into that same spot. So let's say you wanted to make an adjustment here. Good, you made the adjustment. Space bar, zoom out. Now you want to zoom in over here on the mountain. Press and hold command or control and zoom in there. Perfect, space bar, zoom out. Really, really fast, speeds up your editing so much better. Okay, the next one is adjusting your colors. So let's go to this next image here and we're going to drop the highlights, we're going to raise the shadows, we're gonna set our whites and black points really quick, bring back that detail, we're going to darken this up, the whole image. Now we wanna adjust our colors. So let's say we wanna adjust these colors in the greens here. Well, let's go down to the HSL, we wanna make it a little darker, and we're gonna adjust, make it a little bit browner, we're gonna do this here, make these little adjustments, and just tweak it here and there. Good, so that was pretty easy, but there's a faster way. If you go ahead and reset these by double clicking on the sliders, let's zoom in here. Let's click on this little circle with the arrows on, select the color we wanna change, click and hold and then drag up or down. And you'll notice on the sliders that it's adjusting the sliders of the colors that are present in that area. So this is adjusting all the colors that are a part of these different colors you're trying to adjust. This prevents what's considered banding. Like if you're adjusting a sky, and you adjust just the blue, but let's say there's some teal and some purple in there too, you can create separation in the colors which gives these lines. By using this technique, you actually prevent that because you're adjusting and keeping that transition between the colors. And this works with the saturation as well. There's this little circle here, you click it, drag down, you lower the saturation, raise it up, you increase the saturation of all those colors, and it's also present in the luminance slider. Drag up, you raise the luminance, drag down, you lower the luminance. So this is a quick way to adjust all the colors that you want in that area without causing any corruption between the two colors. All right, the next tip, super quick and easy. Let's say you wanna reset something like a whole panel but not the whole image. Notice how I've made all these adjustments. Well, if I push and hold Alt or Option, reset luminance occurs, but you'll notice also reset sharpening. Uh, and if you go up here, You'll notice reset tone, reset presence. It allows you to reset the panels individually. So let's reset the luminance, let's reset the saturation, and let's reset the hue. Super easy, and you didn't have to change any other adjustments or remove any of the mask. It's just simply that panel. So that's a quick way to backtrack and get back to your editing. All right, the next one is kind of a fun one. It's an easy way to transform and to straighten your image. So let's go to this image here. And again, we're going to go up here, do our basic edit. We're gonna drop the highlights, raise the shadows, set our white points and our black points. And then we're going to raise the exposure a little bit and increase some contrast. So quick edit, here's the before, here's the after, no problem. But let's say we wanna straighten the image, but we don't have necessarily some dedicated lines to straighten it. Well, we could just click the crop tool and we could adjust it to the best of our eye. That's one way. Or we could scroll down here and we could click auto, which is also really good and works a lot of times, but sometimes it doesn't. So if you click the guided tool, 
This allows you to select two points. So you're gonna click on one of your straight lines here, let's say, and you notice a little box appears so you can really fine tune it. And you're gonna draw a line, and this is one straight line. So then you're gonna take another point and you're gonna click, let's say the top of this mountain, and draw it down the other line. For this one, because there's no defined line, we're just gonna make it perpendicular to the, the first line and let it go. It will automatically straighten the image to those two lines, which look at this, it looks perfect. Let's take that off there. I mean, that, that looks great. So here's the before and here's the after. That was incredible. And it works so good with buildings and things that have dedicated lines so you can straighten it to two points rather than getting like one of those where the, the horizon is straight but the building looks like it's tilted back. By using this technique, you can get it pushed forward and it straightens it and it looks fabulous. Okay, and the final quick hack for 2022 is the sync feature. Let's say you've done all of your edits and you have a lot of similar photos in your collection. You're, you're, all, you're gonna put that same edit with some minor tweaks here and there. So what you can do, click the first photo, press and hold shift, and then click the last photo. Then go over here, press sync, and select your options. If you wanna check all, you just click this button. If you wanna check none and do only a couple, click this button. Generally, I do all of these. I do these, this, the calibration. I don't do the healing. I don't do the crop, the lens correction, or the transform. And a lot of times I will select the masks. Once you have all of your selections selected, press synchronize and boom. Now, if you have other masks on other images, it will give you the option to replace or merge. I always suggest clicking replace and then adjusting as needed. Merge will just combine the mask and it can sometimes get confusing. So just press replace if that's what works for you. Once you've done that, it will go through all the images, it will adjust everything, and it will add all those current masks on the first image to all of them, and there you have it. Those are my top 10 Lightroom classic hacks of 2022. No matter which ones you use, any of them or all of them, they will speed you up in your editing ventures. So if this video was helpful, you know, hit the like button, really helps us and tells YouTube that this video was actually helpful, which I think it was. Brianna, was it helpful? Yeah. See, you met Brianna earlier. She's behind this wall. You can't see her, but that's, that's her, the, the voice behind the wall. Now it's got weird. Anyways, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of fun stuff coming for you in 2023. I look forward to an amazing new year. I'll see you next Monday. Happy new year. Big, big things. God, I just hate myself right now. It's good, it's my name. I know how to say my name. That's, that's, right. that's a good thing. Just be like, pew, 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 pew. Those are fireworks. It's a new year. Yeah. All right, you come do that. Huh? You come do that. You want me to come do that? I want you to come do that. Um, hold on, let me check my reflection. This is important, okay? It's you, my big debut. I know, it is your big debut. I'm back to the channel, and... Okay. Oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, I got this, I got this. I, God, I keep forgetting what to say. It's so nerve-wracking. Welcome I'm not, to my life. Welcome to m my life. <laughs> is that what I'm saying? That's okay. What's up, guys? Will Simpson here. New year, new me.